So, Lou, you were a professional footballer, so how did you end up in Stoke? I came here to manage after I finished playing football. I managed Stoke City and uh, I've been here ever since, 20 something years now. What led you to start the Macari Centre? I was at home one night reading the local paper and in the local paper it said that um, there was 20 homeless people in, in the whole of Stoke on Trent. And that afternoon I'd actually been in the town centre and there was, there was more than 20 in the town centre that afternoon. So I thought, right, I'll, I'll go out at night and have a look. And I was interested why they'd got the figures so wrong. Jumped in the car, went up to the city centre and parked the car, got out. And immediately I got out and met eight supporters in a doorway, um, five Stoke City supporters and three Port Vale supporters and had a bit of an argument with the Port Vale supporters and, and uh, it was okay with the Stoke lads and uh, quickly found another three somewhere else, three somewhere else and I thought, and I was asking them questions like you would do, like why are you homeless and they didn't have anywhere to go and they said and I just happened to say well if I found you somewhere would you go and they said yeah. So I knew a few people in the council, went to the council the next morning and asked them for a building that was um, they'd locked up and they no use for. I said if you give me the building I'll open it up and get those homeless people off the streets. And did that and opened up uh, just down the road from where we are now and um, the numbers grew from 8 to 10 to 15 to 20 and um, we're in the new centre here with 48 people. And so do you have a policy on Stoke supporters or Vale supporters? <laughs> no, you can support anybody as long as you behave yourself or put up with you. But if you don't behave yourself, whether you're Stoke support, a Stoke supporter or, or a Port Vale supporter, you won't survive very long. <laughs> and w so what are the underlying issues? Um, well, obviously we've got, I think, issues all over the country which is people taking drugs, people drinking too much, relationships breaking down. Um, I think they're the three main ones. I'm perfectly honest with you, um, before I got involved I would have said that the drugs are obviously the, the worst one of the three, but I'm not so sure anymore because the relationships going wrong at home, that has a terrible impact on those two people and any children that are about and the family itself um, and the drink as well I found out that's people behave completely different to what they're really like yeah and as a result that causes problems but you're helping these guys probably 40, 40 odd here now somewhere to stay somewhere to sleep right now as well that's, yeah that's what I started off to do because when I was sitting at home I thought what could I do, I'm an ex-footballer, I've had a great life, everything's gone right for me. Yeah. I've moved to, you know, from Scotland to Manchester United and, yeah. and played for Scotland, been at a World Cup. I hadn't missed out on anything, yeah. played 9, 10, 20 times at Wembley, whatever it may be. And um, what can I do? So I thought, right, what I can do, I haven't got a magic wand that people think that, well I think people think that some people have got a magic wand. So. I, took the view, I haven't got a magic wand to sort of heal anybody full time and, and it's up to them most of the time. So I'll put a roof over their head, and I'll get them the food. Yeah. Uh, we're the only organisation in Stoke that actually feeds people. Yeah. And I, that amazes me because I think that's the priority. Yeah. One of the priorities is yeah. to get you know, food in their belly, keep them, keep them warm, keep them alive, keep the roof over their head. And I, I've done that for six years now. It's amazing, amazing stuff, and we're going to look round. And as I say, people I spoke to, they can't say a word against you. In other words, you know, they're super loyal. One guy said you were safe earlier, so, so well, well done on what you do. You might say something different to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they do.